A few years back we had, this must have been in the early 2000s, we had the, the so-called alien eye fluorites from the Irongo uh, mountain, which would be outside Usakos Karibip in Namibia. Uh, here we have, you'll see those fluorites over there, uh, not quite the alien eye, but there's definitely some patterning happening inside these. Uh, uh, a few dimensions in motion, sitting together with uh, a shell tourmaline crystal. So these would be the black tourmaline. On an, from an es esoteric perspective, the black tourmaline is often regarded as a good healer and protector. Um, sitting on a matrix of a felt spar, I don't see any other associations. What I often find on this particular material would be some highlight or opal in. So please have a look at my description, should I find some uh, that would manifest itself as tiny gem botroids and under shortwave UB would fluoresce a yellow to green. Um, but I don't see any with my eye on this. Here of course from a, a tourmaline point of view what we always look for is the bends formation in the, in the tourmaline. Uh, let me just see if I can show you the bend star on that, on that larger top crystal. Maybe let's just take one of the ones on the side. Definite some bends for my... Okay, well, let's take this tiny one on the side there. Um, you have a sort of a bend star. Ah, there we go. There we have the bends formation of the tourmaline. Also, also very appealing. Rather appealing specimen. We have the green to almost a little bit of purplish, and then we have this, this lustrous uh, uh, shell tourmaline, the black tourmaline, maybe even some foita tourmaline when we look at that section, all sitting on this matrix of feldspar from the Irongo Mountain and Sayans, uh, Karibib, Usakos, Namibia.